Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to my movie vlog. My name is John Campy, and you know it's a brand new year. It's 2018, and that means there's a whole bunch of new movies coming up this year that we're all looking forward to seeing. But, you know, going to the movies can be an expensive endeavor. It's an investment to go to the movies. And that's why we've been getting the emergence of these movie cards, things like Movie Pass, which is probably the most popular one. But there's also another really good one out there called Cinemia. You can see the graphics here on the side of these two cards. Now these cards are great deals and they basically work the same way with some key differences. Now I'm gonna spend the next few minutes talking about my experience with both of these cards because I have subscribed to both of them and what the advantages are for each card and what the disadvantages are. Then at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you what my recommendation is personally for which card you should choose and you should use in 2018. Now, before we go into the advantages and disadvantages of each, let's talk about what they do basically the same. Both of these cards, in their most basic sense, work the same way. With each of these cards, both MoviePass and Cinemia, you get an app on your phone that coincides with your specific card number. Now, when you go to the movie theater, you find a movie that you want on the app, you select the movie that you want to see, and then you go to the kiosk, not the actual box office, but you go to a kiosk at the movie theater, pick a movie that you want to see as if you're buying a movie ticket normally, but then instead of using your credit card or your bank card to buy the ticket, you actually use your MoviePass card or your Cinemia card because the company automatically funds, when you use the app, the right amount of money to be on your card to buy the movie ticket. So, if I were to go to the AMC Burbank 16 tonight and I said, I want to see... I don't know, Jumanji at eight o'clock. And I say that on the app. Well, now the app knows that the eight o'clock showing of Jumanji at the AMC Burbank 16 is $15 a ticket. It instantly puts $15 on the card. I now go to the kiosk, select the movie I want to see, buy my ticket, and instead of using my bank card, I actually use my movie pass MasterCard, run it, and it pays AMC theaters for my tickets and I get my ticket. That's basically how both of these services work. Okay, now understanding the basics of how these cards work, let's look at some of the specific advantages and disadvantages to each of these cards. And let's start with the most popular card and that's MoviePass. What are the advantages of using MoviePass? Well, first of all, the price. The price for a MoviePass card right now is $10 a month. Now, remember that example I just gave you that if I want to go to the AMC Burbank 16 tonight just to watch Jumanji, my movie ticket's going to cost 15 bucks. So if I pay MoviePass just $10 a month by going to watch one movie at that theater, the card has already paid for itself. So a $10 a month price is a really sweet deal for something like this. And that leads us into the next advantage that makes the first advantage looks even better, which is this. You can see up to one movie per day. So I can go tonight to the AMC Burbank 16 and watch Jumanji. Then if I wanted to watch Star Wars The Last Jedi, I could go back to the theater again tomorrow and use it again. Then if the next day I wanted to go see The Greatest Showman, I can go back to the theater and use it again, all for that $10 a month price. When you can go to see one movie a day, that means depending on the month, you can see 30 or 31 movies a month, all for that one price of $10 a month. Now that leads into the third advantage. The MoviePass card works at a lot of theaters. Now, I'm not saying all the theaters because it doesn't work at all theaters, but the chances are the movie theater near you probably takes MoviePass. I've had a very hard time finding theaters that don't accept it. I have found a few and we'll talk about that in a minute. But basically speaking, MoviePass works at a hell of a lot of theaters. So it'll probably work at the one next to you. And that leads us into the last main advantage of MoviePass and that's this, the app, for it, which is vital, is very intuitive and very easy to use. I find every time I have to open up my MoviePass app, I'm through it and selecting my tickets within a matter of moments. It's very intuitive, it's well laid out, it just works. It can be a little bit buggy sometimes, yes, but for the most part, it's laid out very simple so you can open it up, find your movie easy, and select your movie. The process is really simple and that's a big advantage of MoviePass. Okay, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows for MoviePass. There are some drawbacks with the service as well. The main disadvantage of MoviePass, or at least one of the main disadvantages, is that you cannot buy tickets in advance. So basically, if I wanted to go tonight to go watch Jumanji at the AMC Burbank 16, I can't hop online and buy my tickets in advance. I have to go physically to the movie theater. The app knows if I'm within 100 yards of the movie theater or not. And I have to physically be there the day of the screening and select my tickets then. So for some people who like to plan their movie outings a little more in advance or want to go to a more popular movie, 
that could be a significant drawback. You cannot buy your movies in advance with MoviePass. Now going hand in hand with that, as I mentioned, you also can't buy your tickets online. So if you want to even go 15 minutes before the movie starts, but you want to make sure you get your tickets, you want to hop online and buy the tickets now so they're waiting for you when you get to the theater, with MoviePass, unfortunately, you can't get that. Once again, you have to physically be there at the theater. You cannot use the website to buy it. You have to be there physically and buy it the day of the screening. So put hand in hand with the fact that you can't buy the tickets in advance. Also not being able to buy the tickets online is a little bit of a disadvantage. Another drawback to MoviePass right now is that you can only buy one ticket for you and that's it. So if you have a date or a wife or a buddy you want to go with, you can't show up there and buy two tickets with MoviePass. You're going to have to buy one ticket with your MoviePass, then go through the whole purchase process again and buy another separate ticket with your other bank card. Now, MoviePass has been saying for some time that they're working on that and they want to offer a service where you can buy more than one ticket. But as of right now, with MoviePass, you can only get one ticket at a time, particularly a ticket for yourself, and that's it. Now, the next disadvantage is that you cannot use premium movie theaters. Now, you remember one of the advantages is that you can use a lot of movie theaters. MoviePass works at the majority of theaters. However, in Los Angeles, there are a couple of movie theaters that they qualify as premium theaters. The Arclight Hollywood is a very popular movie theater in Hollywood, but that's considered a premium theater Therefore, MoviePass doesn't work there. The Landmark is considered a premium theater, and therefore, the passes don't work there. MoviePass does work at the vast majority of movie theaters, but you are going to find now and again there are some theaters that it doesn't work at. Now, speaking of times that MoviePass doesn't work, no matter what movie theater you go to, for instance, I go to the AMC Burbank 16, where we have 3D movies, IMAX theaters, and an AMC Prime, MoviePass will not buy tickets to any movie in 3D, to any movie at an IMAX or any movie at an AMC Prime. So even though my movie pass does work at AMC Burbank 16 and I can buy a ticket to most of the theaters in the AMC Burbank 16, I can't go into a 3D screening, I can't go into an IMAX screening, and I can't go into an AMC Prime screening. So that can be a disadvantage if you like to watch movies in those formats. Okay, so with movie pass out of the way, let's talk about this other little movie card that I found is actually also quite good and that's this Cinemia card. Let's look at how the Cinemia card has advantages. The first advantage of a Cinemia card is that they have different tiers of membership. So you're, you can have a card that does purchase one movie ticket, but you also have the option of having a card in a membership that buys up to two movie tickets. And if you're somebody like me that's married or you have a significant other or a best movie going buddy that you like, that comes in really handy because now you can buy two tickets at the same time for you and your partner. So that's always good. The next big advantage is this, is that Cinemia basically works at all movie theaters. I have yet to find a movie theater that Cinemia does not work at. It does also work with 3D showings, with IMAX showings, with Xbox showings, with Prime Cinema showings, whatever you want, it does work with those. It also works in those premium theaters. Remember, a little bit earlier I was mentioning that in Los Angeles you have a couple theaters like the Landmark, the Arc like Hollywood, where movie pass won't work. Cinemia will work in those theaters. Again, I have yet to find a theater that the Cinemia card doesn't work in. Another couple of big advantages that Cinemia has over movie pass. Remember, with movie pass, we talked about how you cannot buy your tickets in advance and you cannot buy your tickets online. However, with Cinemia, you can do both. I can buy my tickets to a screening two weeks in advance if I want. And I can use Fandango, I can use Adam tickets, I can use AMC's website, I can use Cinemark's website, I can use the websites to buy the tickets and purchase them online with my Cinemia card as the card of payment. And that is a major advantage that this card has over MoviePass that MoviePass simply isn't able to replicate. So again, you can get up to two tickets. It works at basically all the theaters, including 3D, IMAX, and Prime. It works with premium theaters. You can buy your tickets in advance, and you can buy your tickets online. Okay, so Cinemia sounds great, but there are a couple of serious disadvantages to keep in mind with the Cinemia card compared to the MoviePass card. First and foremost is the price. My version of the Cinemia card, which allows me to get two tickets for people, instead of $10 a month like MoviePass, it's actually $30 a month. So that's a $20 difference. That's three times more expensive than I'm paying for the Cinemia card than what I'm paying for the MoviePass card. And for some people, that can be quite significant. It becomes more significant when you realize the second big disadvantages. With different levels of Cinemia, you can choose like a two movie a month pass, but at most, at least for where I live and the level that I want, the most movies I can see per month is three. 
Now that's six movie tickets, three movies I can go to and buy tickets for and get two tickets for each of those movies. But whereas Movie Pass, I can go up to 31 movies a month, depending on the month. I can go to one movie per day if I really want to. Not that I have that kind of time, but if I wanted to, I could. With Cinemia though, however, I am limited to three movies per month. So it's more expensive, it's $30 per month. Plus you're limited on your usage to up to three movies per month. And also there's this, comparing the apps, they both work fine. The MoviePass app works great. The Cinemia app works fine, but I will say this, the Cinemia app is nowhere near as intuitive or as simple as the MoviePass app is. Now don't get me wrong, it's not impossible to use. You can figure it out easy enough, but compared to the MoviePass app, it's far less intuitive. Okay, now before I give you my choice for which card I think you should probably get going into 2018, let's highlight again the advantages and disadvantages of both of these cards. Starting off with Movie Pass's advantages. The price, just $10 a month for one movie per day. Available to be used at a hell of a lot of theaters and a very easy app to use. Now, on the downside of Movie Pass, you cannot buy advanced tickets. You cannot buy your tickets online. You can only buy one ticket for yourself. No premium theaters, and even in the theaters you can use them in, you cannot get 3D screenings, IMAX, or Prime. Now let's look at Cinemia. Some of the advantages here are, you can get up to two tickets per movie. Works at basically all the movie theaters, including ones with 3D, IMAX, and Prime screenings. Works with premium theaters. You can buy your tickets in advance, and you can buy tickets online. The drawback, however, it comes to the price tag. It is a more expensive card. My version of the card is about $30 per month. Limited usage, you can only use it three times per month, and the app is less intuitive and a little bit more confusing than the Movie Pass app is. The bottom line here is both of these cards, in my opinion, are well worth it. These are both great services, and if you're a serious film fan, they're great to use. I personally own both of them. I plan on continuing to use both of them moving forward. However, I said I would give you a pick. So here's my pick. I believe if you can only have one movie card going into 2018, my pick right now it depends on how you would use it, but more times than not, I'm going to say Cinemia. To somebody like me, the ability to buy my tickets in advance, to buy my tickets online, and to have the ability to buy two tickets instead of just one, those are the things that pushes it over the edge for me. Granted, that's overlooking some of the other disadvantages. It's $30 a month instead of $10. I can only do that for three movies per month, but still, the advantages, I think, of being able to buy online in advance and get two tickets outweighs the disadvantages. Now, it might be different for you. If you're somebody who lives really close to a movie theater and you love just going by yourself to the movies as often as you can, Movie Pass then becomes the right choice for you. But I'm going to say in general, my general pick for this year is going to be the Cinemia card. Again, look at the advantages and disadvantages for each one of those cards that I showed you. Look at the advantages and disadvantages of the services they provide and determine whether those ones suit your particular needs or not. I just myself... I'm saying the one to get is the Cinemia card. But listen, what about you guys? Have you guys used the Movie Pass or the Cinemia card? Jump down in the comments section. Let me know about your experiences with those cards. That'll do it for me, guys. My name is John KB. Thanks for joining me for this little movie vlog. And I'll see you again next video.